On the 22nd of February 2018, the burnt body of 57-year-old Jill Packham was found in the boot of a burning BMW here at Deep River train station. Shortly after her body was discovered, police arrested her husband, Rob Packham. Forensic experts have testified that while Jill's body was badly burnt, she died from a blunt force trauma to her head, which broke her jaw and left a base skull fracture. Using CCTV footage, forensic reports, eyewitness testimonies, and cell phone records, we can plot a sequence of events to show what the state says happened to Joel Packham. So let's go back to February 22nd, 2018. Rob and Jill's vehicles play a central role in this case. Jill Packham drove a green BMW, an older model from the early 2000s. Her husband Rob drove a white Audi Q5 SUV. The couple resided in their 4.5 million rand house here in Riesling Street in Constantia. Jill normally leaves for work in her green BMW around 7am and arrives at 7.30. But on this morning, she didn't show up. CCTV footage, however, shows her car driving away from their home on Riesling Street at 7.34 a.m. The green BMW has no number plates, and the driver appears to be a white male, seemingly wearing a hat. According to the state, he matches Rob's description. But the first time an eyewitness would see Rob is at 9.45 a.m., when Rob arrives late at his workplace in Belvel. He switched his phone on at this point and he received a call from his distressed daughter regarding Jill's disappearance. Rob says he then went to look for Jill in places that were special to the couple. The next big moment is at 2pm that afternoon when an eyewitness testified that he saw a green BMW without any number plates parked here a few hundred meters from the Packham house. The eyewitness said a man matching Rob Packham's description was sitting inside the BMW banging his fists on the steering wheel. Shortly after this incident, at quarter past two, we see Jill's car again on CCTV footage. Jill at this point had been missing for seven hours, yet the green BMW is recorded driving along this road. The state alleges that cell phone records show that at this exact time, Rob's cell phone links him to the area where the BMW is captured on CCTV. But Rob says he continued his search of Jill all day, and at 6pm, exhausted, he ended up at his sister's house in Tokai. They had dinner and discussed the alarming news. At around 9pm that night, Rob leaves his sister's house. And shortly after this, an eyewitness living next to the Dip River train station sees a man running away from a burning BMW. The man gets into his car, which is said to be a white SUV, and speeds away from the scene. The witness would later point Rob Packham out from a 12-man lineup as the man running away from the burning BMW. The eyewitness calls the police and inside the boots of the vehicle, they find Jill's body. Police capture the tire marks left behind from the white SUV seen leaving from the crime scene. A tire print expert testifies that the tracks reasonably match the tires on Rob's Audi Q5 SUV. Upon investigation, police also find spots of Jill's blood inside the garage at their home on Riesling Street. The state also revealed that Rob and Jill were seeing a therapist for five months before her murder. This came after Rob admitted he had had an affair with another woman. While the state has rested their case and Rob Packer maintains his innocence, the defense will now place their version of events to Judge Stain. The case continues in the Cape Town High Court 